Hi, it's Wesley with 22 Zines, and welcome back. Welcome to day nine of International Zine Month. And today's official prompt from Alex Rex's official prompt list is Buy direct. Do you sell zines online? Update your shop and post a link to it online. Or buy, someone, buy directly from someone who posts a link to their shop. Um, so, I have been purchasing zines throughout the month, just as I see them, and um, I'm thinking maybe at the end of the month I'll do some sort of wrap-up video where I show off my big zine haul from throughout the month, because I've been doing a whole bunch of trades and buying, and of course it all takes a while to get here in the mail, so um, yeah, I will <laughs> talk more about that later. So instead I will focus on um, the zines that I'm going to be putting up in my shop. I mentioned this zine a few days ago, and this is I Was a Teenage Girl, about my experience in a girl's health class in middle school as a trans guy, um, and, you know, as a now trans guy. <laughs> um, so I am finally putting this up in the shop. I have printed and assembled some copies, and so this is going to be listed. And the other thing that I have to list is something that's pretty special to me, and it has taken me a really long time to make it, not because I've been spending a lot of time on the actual writing or creation, but just because I have needed a lot of downtime in between each step of the process, because it's just been a very heavy and emotional zine for me to be writing. And so I'm proud, and not necessarily happy, but I'm proud to say that it is finally done and ready to be listed, and it is now up in the shop by the time you're watching this. Um, this is a zine called A Thing About My Dad, and this was written on November 18th, 2020, which uh, is the anniversary of my dad's death six years ago. And so basically on that day, November 18th of last year, I wrote, I was really upset and I just wrote a journal entry um, that I feel like was very cathartic and said a lot about my um, experience with grief so far and just has been very import important and almost um, like highlighted or explained everything that I've been feeling like I don't know it was just one of those one of those things that when it came out and when it came together it's like there there it all was there was everything on the page in this relatively short thing so this is um, sort of a mini zine. Like, it is, um, quite a few pages, but it is a slightly smaller size. I'd say it's, it's like sh slightly shorter than a quarter size zine. And, um, basically I went through and took word for word the, uh, text from my journal and typed it up and then edited some photos of my dad and my dad and me and we, you know, just pasted it all together. And so, you know, just to get to that point took a good three months. And then I've been sitting on the finished zine for a while now, just um, because formatting and scanning and all that was going to be another emotionally taxing experience. So now I have them finally ready. And just to uh, whet your appetite a little bit, um, the first line of the zine is, I broke my no contact with mom to ask for some of dad's ashes. And here is the image. That's my dad. That's my mom. Uh, so, anyway... It is a very meaningful zine to me. I'm very happy to be able to share this, and hopefully if you have gone through a period of grief, especially losing somebody important to you, then, you know, and if, and if 
you don't feel like anyone else has understood how you felt through that whole process or shared your grief in quite the same way that you had it. Um, I think that this zine will resonate with you. Um, so yeah, a thing about my dad. That along with my um, significantly less sad and significantly less heavy I was a teenage girl are now up in my shop and I appreciate the <laughs> um, the prompt as an excuse to finally get it up there and do that. And the freezing that I have to show off today, it's actually a a whole bunch of freezings the by the same creator. And so this creator is Brian R. Page, who pay, who posts his stuff on Gumroad, and they're all pay what you want with a zero dollar minimum. So basically, you just put in how much you want to pay and put in zero if you want to download it for free. And then you have access to the zines and files and you can read them online or you can download a PDF to print them. And I think you can read them on like Kindle or some other e-readers. Um, and they are all really, really cool. The one that I want to highlight, especially <laughs> that I like the best is, um, it's titled Goodbye Titties, and it's about his experience and sort of his musings post-top surgery. So, and, and it's really fun. They all are like these really cool, um, glitchy, trippy, arty, uh, really colorful collages, and um, they're very... I mean, I just they're very eye-catching, and the text is... <laughs> is fun and poetic. I think the, um, most of Brian's work on Gumroad are Perzines. Here comes the, the cars. <laughs> Busy street again. Okay. So most, most of the zines that Brian has on his page on Gumroad are pay what you want. And so I feel like this is a nice way to offer you a free zine and offer you the opportunity to complete this prompt so that if you really like the zines or you want to buy a zine directly from the creator, then here you go. You can just offer more than a dollar and, <laughs> and buy the zines on Gumroad instead. Um, the I, I um, Sorry I didn't mention this earlier, but I really wanted to read a quote from Goodbye Titties that I just love so much. I'm happy I've decided to remake myself in my own image, in an image I've dreamed about. I mean, what else do you even have to say? And then there's there's another quote <laughs> that I love, just to give you a flavor of the style of the whole zine. Yeah, I liked Inuyasha in middle school, but I'm also a transsexual. So, hope you enjoy and definitely give Brian R. Page, a bunch of support. There are a whole bunch of zines and even some short stories with covers that he's illustrated. Um, it's all really great stuff. I'll put a link. The uh, username on Gumroad is Flame Swallower, and I'll have a link below and all that. So thanks for popping in, and I will see you again tomorrow for the one third mark. Is that a significant enough? Mark to mention <laughs> for day 10 of International Zine Month. Bye.